change. <laughs> it's uncomfortable, hard and sometimes comes out of nowhere, but ultimately it has the potential to grow us into a stronger and more resilient person. I've always wanted to cut down my hair. By Odin's beard you shall not cut my hair. Maybe it's some movie inspiration or just me justifying buying a new razor. But in the end we all know that saying we only regret the things we didn't do. If there's one thing these last years have shown us, it's that change is inevitable. Concerns about the deadly coronavirus, the climate change, inflation, the rise of artificial intelligence. Many have lost their jobs or their jobs have changed significantly. Our habits have changed. Everything is different. Change can be a bad thing, but it can also be a good thing, especially if we choose which change we want in our lives, because change will come either way. So at least we can choose which direction it takes. When I was a teenager, I was super skinny and insecure. I wanted nothing more than changing who I was. And eventually, I did. But this didn't happen overnight. And sure, this was a little harder than cutting off my hair. Although, shorter hair can make you look bigger. This change is totally due to the new habits and routines that I've built along the way. Being fit and healthy might start as a choice, but becomes part of your lifestyle the longer you practice it. The hardest part when it comes to making change stick is being consistent. The easy part, as you repeat doing something over and over again, a new habit is built and it becomes effortless and requires very little willpower. For example, you don't have to convince yourself to brush your teeth every day. It's a habit and you just do it. By building habits, working out, eating healthy and meditating becomes effortless, like it's on autopilot. Unfortunately, the same applies to bad habits. We all have certain habits that sabotage our goals. Like that cookie you always buy with your coffee before work. The usual, please. Even though you aren't actually hungry. Fortunately, it doesn't take much or long to build new habits and replace old ones. So if you want change, starting with something small is the way to go. Especially because small changes can do a lot over months or even years. They can compound, leading to tremendous results. Like, if you want to become fitter and healthier, without changing your life too dramatically, for example, you can make use of this compound effect. You could start by doing 10 push-ups and 10 bodyweight squats after waking up and by replacing your morning cookie with a protein shake that is more saturating and helps support muscle growth. Easy, doable changes. Then you could incorporate a 15-minute post lunch walk into your day while listening to an instructional or inspirational podcast. No grand acts of effort, but a change nonetheless. Small, doable, positive changes. Stuff anyone can do, but it will take time. After one month, no perceivable differences exist. After three months, slight changes are measurable. But after six months, you can see really measurable, visible results. In fact, you could look at a more muscular and trim body while having gained lots of knowledge through the podcast episodes. By the six month mark, you would have done 1,800 push-ups and squats, building muscle in your upper and lower body, neglecting the satiating effect that would lead to less appetite when having lunch, probably saving some more calories. After six months, that's an additional 28,800 calories less. Additionally, a higher protein intake is shown to reduce fat-free body mass and increase lean muscle mass. Eventually, this all adds up to 39,000 600 calories, which equals to a little more than 5 kilos or 11 pounds pure fat loss. Imagine doing this for longer than 6 months. For a few years, you would look at a totally changed person. Of course, you could make more drastical changes that would lead to much faster results. When it comes to change, our point of view can make all the difference. Rather than looking at what you have to lose or have to give up, I think people often forget what they have to gain, what new opportunities it opens. Invite change into your life. Whether it's changing up your workout routine, trying a new recipe or cutting off your hair. Change can be fun and exciting.